Hey everybody, welcome to the show that has at least five Chia Pets. That's right, it's five minutes and we'll get back. <laughs> a little show we waste five minutes of your time. But as always, the five minutes doesn't start until we say it does. I'm Brian. I'm Heather. And are you ready? I'm ready. True or false? I'm president. Say, John, a president? Yeah. The, an old, a previous, a, a previous prior president. Prior. President John Adams, yeah. not recent, had a dog named <laughs> Jesus. True or false? <laughs> wow. I was not expecting that at all. So he had a... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's true. Dang. Um, uh, mm, I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with true. You would be incorrect. I was so, so outlandish. I had to go with that. It's false, but he did have a dog. Did he have a cat named Jesus? No, he had a dog named Satan. <laughs> oh. So... So we're going on, Egypt, we're just going with the other side of the spectrum. There you go. So, well, that go. must have been a horrible dog. Do they give any details about the dog? No, it does not. It's just, it's just a true false question. No, I'm curious. It's a random. Do some research and let us know what, why, why John Adams called this dog Satan. Yep, there you go. Okay, I'm starting pushing. <laughs> wow, ahead. we're not wasting Hi. any time tonight. So the Time's five minutes started. starts now. It so, already started. Regardless. Can you tell we're just want to try to get this wrapped up tonight real quick? Well, anyways, look, um, we're going to do, uh, there'll be another one of these, but we're going to talk about some social distancing games where, you know, you can do, you can have fun with your, your better half and, and have some fun. Even your uh, kids. It, yes, maybe. and kids and out in public and social distance. So um, this is one we haven't done, but we've thought about it a lot. And this is, if you, if you go to a mall, if your mall's open, you go to the mall, um, they always have those kiosks where they're, they're wanting to give you free beauty treatments or free teeth whitenings or give you a free sample. So, Or at least, you know, back in the day. Back in the day. Before the COVID. That's right. <laughs> but anyway, at our mall, they, they still do this at, even after the, or during the COVID. So, um, well, you each take turns. And you have to walk past the kiosk or booth that they're in in the middle of the mall. And you have to get past them, um, regardless of traffic, regardless of the only person. That, that's kind of like a random part of the game. But the idea is to get past them without them trying to talk to you or make eye contact, talk to you, and try to sell you something. So if you get past them without anything happening, you get zero points. If you walk by them and they get to you and they talk to you, you get a point. So and you have to hit all those kiosks in the mall, each one of you separately, and the person with the most points loses. The person with the least points wins. And once again, you're trying to social distance, so it's a win-win for everybody. So yeah. So it's like golf. Huh? It's like golf, scoring-wise. There's no you handicap. Want, there's want, no. Yeah. There's no par. Um, you can add rules to, you know. You have to wait until some other people. You you can even the playing field out because if there's nobody in your aisle when you're walking, you're the only person. So your job as the contestant is to wait for the right timing of the other people walking while you go to make sure you're basically you have to you have to designate your own interference on that one. So while you're waiting, if there's nobody walking the other direction, you're not going to walk because you're the only person walking down the aisle. Of course, they're going to try to make contact with you. So you have to time it correctly. It's like, I disagree. It's like it Frogger. Depends, it depends on who the other person is because I I have noticed yeah. that they pick and choose who they try to talk to. But we don't know. But we that's a that's a but that's a part we don't we can't control. Anyway, well, so I think I, you know, I, I would like right. to I would like to point out that it, it's it's so basically. See, I would call this game like avoid the attractive lotion lady in the mall. <laughs> that sounds usually kind of dirty. They're usually avoid kind of, the lotion lady. She wants to clean your ring, or <laughs> yes, she wants to put pause. lotion on your face. Um, Anyway, uh, it's easier when well, there's guys two have of the you. lotion too, for the record. Well, it's weird because that yeah, there is a guy like we have seen a guy there. Yeah. Also, young, attractive guy. I don't know, but the but the ladies like sometimes they go after guys. Now, for the record, we've been in other parts of the other areas, not in Myrtle Beach, but other parts of South Carolina, where I have been brought into a shop. I was gonna say with a lotion guy. Have, yes. So here's so here's let, yeah. So some, here's what happens. So it's easy when there's like a group of you or there's two of you because you can just like pretend like you're so engaged in your conversation, you know. You can like make it so you're so you don't even hear them. Oh, I'm so sorry, you know, and you just like walk right by. Now, here's what happened to us one time. And if you don't avoid these people, this is a cautionary tale. 
Okay. We need to so question her tail I'm just going to say, you know, I'll try to make it as short as I can. Um, but Brian and I and my son and his girlfriend went to Charleston uh, a couple months we ago. The town. We're walking around downtown. Yep. We're just walking around. Now, I would like to mention that my son, if there's a free sample to be had, he sniffs it out. I don't even know how he does it. He gets free samples. It's mostly free fudge. I mean, it used to be when he was younger, it was funny. But now that he's like older... And he's a huge man, adult person. Um, it's kind of funny because, yeah, he still gets his free samples. If he knows that there's a free sample to be had, it. he will find it. Anyway, so walking through the streets of Charleston, we're walking. There's this lady standing outside with this tray of these sticks that are different colors. And I'll be honest, I think he thought he was getting a free sample. So he was like, yeah, what's this? What is it? Oh, it's soap. Don't eat it. <laughs> but here. So, like, so she brings, she's trying to, like, you know, get, so Brian and Owen go into the shop. Me and, and, and Owen's girlfriend, we're like, uh, we're not going in there. Uh-uh. We're not, we're not doing and this. And guess no. what? We stay outside. So we're like, you know, we're waiting, we're waiting, we're trying to, ready. like, no. So, like, we're standing there, <laughs> no. and we get to the point where it's, like, and the lady, sh like, they take him in. They're, like, we could hear a guy talking to him in the back and everything, and then, like, the lady's like, oh, we need your opinion. You need to come in and smell this. And I was like, no, they're grown adults. They know if it smells good or not. They, you know, they got their own money. We're not coming in. <laughs> so we just waited outside. We started texting because we did finally get concerned. And we were actually this close to finding a bystander <laughs> or a homeless cops. person <laughs> and sending them in to make sure that they had not been like, kidnapped and taken to a back room well when they came out well for clarification it took a while they brought us in there because they gave us the soap and they brought us in there to wrap the soap up for us so it didn't melt because it was hot outside but i knew what was going to happen i went in anyway i lost that game technically but you, you know what my eyes my my, my wrinkles in my <laughs> eyes cleared up that day it was it was good product i wasn't gonna buy it because i just wasn't but my eyes felt very refreshed yeah. So, but I lost. So anyway. Yep. So but you know what? There was another lady. Same. It was like, oh, there was a second one. She was like a couple blocks away, but it was the exact same product. It was a different like location. But we said no to that. Same thing. Didn't make that mistake twice. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. So if you're in some kind of town where they do a lot of selling, play that game. It actually is kind of. We haven't really. Okay. We occasionally do it at the mall. I, haven't, I said at the beginning we haven't played it, but we do for fun try to avoid it. So, yeah, if you're in the mall, you want to have a fun, stupid game with everybody, it's, yeah, I'm sure it'd be pretty cool. So, social distancing game number one from us to you with a story to boot. Yeah. There you go. I'm Brian. I'm Heather. And just remember, it isn't a great deal we wasted five, five minutes, minutes of your time. time. And we'll see you next week. Don't make eye contact with you. I got it. I had no wrinkles for one day. No wrinkles.